In the previous video, we were looking at how polarization works and how certain basic polarizers also work. And now I want to introduce you to a simple form of polarizing technology, 3D glasses, specifically real D 3D glasses, the types you might find in cinemas all over Canada. The 3D glasses consist of a linear polarizer on each lens and a quarter wave plate or a circular polarizer. So now our question is, what exactly do those polarizers do to the incoming light? How does that give us 3D images? Now in the last video, we already went over what linear polarizers do. But just a quick recap, if the linear polarizers are perfectly aligned with each other, the light passes completely through. If the second linear polarizer is at an angle to the first one, then the light only partially passes through in terms of intensity, but all the light that does pass through the second polarizer will be polarized at the same angle as the second polarizer. If the two linear polarizers are completely opposite each other, then all the light gets blocked. Using another simulation, this one from Open Source Physics, the link will be shown right here, we can visualize what happens when light is incident on a quarter wave plate. In this simulation, the incident light is linearly polarized, but unpolarized light would behave similarly. The incoming linearly polarized light, when passing through the quarter wave plate, becomes circularly polarized due to a 90 degree phase shift. If we change the phase shift that the quarter wave plate introduces to a negative phase shift, notice that the rotation direction now changes. Quarter wave plates also work in reverse, so it can take in circularly polarized light and put out linearly polarized light. If circularly polarized light comes into contact with a quarter wave plate that introduces a rotation opposite to the current rotation of the polarized light, the light won't pass through the quarter wave plate. Circular polarizers will let linearly polarized light through them. All it does is change the polarization to circular polarization and decreases the intensity by about half. It can change the color as well. If we're looking at linear polarized light through a linear polarizer, if the orientations are off by 90 degrees, the light's completely blocked. How exactly are these polarizers oriented on the 3D glasses? We can do a simple experiment with linear polarized light to figure out. If you're worried that polarized light is hard to find, well, all you need is access to a phone or a computer screen like this one here. Both are sources of linearly polarized light. If we hold the 3D glasses with the back of the lens closer to the screen and we rotate it, we can see at a certain angle, no matter which lens, the light gets mostly blocked out. If we do the same experiment with the glasses facing the other direction, no matter how we rotate it, we can't block out the light. So how does this help us determine the orientation of the polarizers? Since the light got blocked when the back of the glasses were closer to the computer screen, that must mean the linear polarizers are on the back of the glasses. Only linear polarizers can completely block out linearly polarized light. When we changed the orientation and we had the light from the screen hit the front of the glasses first, the light was no longer blocked. That's because on the front of the glasses, is quarter wave plates, which don't block linearly polarized light. So how exactly does this lead to us getting 3D images from these glasses? In order to get a 3D image, you need two different images in order to trick your brain into using depth perception. However, when watching a movie, we only have one image source, the screen. One image has to be as if it's being viewed from your left eye, and the other one has to be as if it's being viewed from your right eye. The projector will rapidly change between the left eye and the right eye view, which is why without 3D glasses on, a 3D movie just looks incredibly blurry. 
A computer that controls the projector will also ensure that the light leaving the screen is circularly polarized in different directions for the different views. I didn't go into a lot of detail on this, but circular polarized light can either rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. So the left eye view will be clockwise and the right eye view will be counterclockwise. It can also be the opposite, as long as they have different rotations. The quarter wave plates on the front of the 3D glasses will only allow one specific orientation of circular polarized light three. So if the left eye view is polarized clockwise from the screen, then the left eye lens on your 3D glasses will be set up to ensure only clockwise oriented light gets through. The opposite will be true for the right eye. If it's counterclockwise, then it'll only let in counterclockwise light. The linear polarizers on the back of the glasses ensure that once the light actually reaches your eyes, they have the same polarization and they're in phase with each other. So we get one clear image, but from two different sources. <music>